are so happy to be joined today by Cecile Rovera, who is a journalist and reporter with The Wall Street Journal, currently based in Washington, D.C., but with uh, experience on both sides of the Atlantic plenty. Um, and so we want to kind of start with that as our first question today is, how do you see the transatlantic, re transatlantic relationship as having evolved, especially in recent years? I think what we've seen now with the recent war uh, uh, of aggression that Russia has waged on Ukraine, that the transatlantic relationship is more important than ever and more alive and kicking than ever, contrary to what, uh, what a number of, uh, of critics on both sides of the Atlantic have said in recent years. Um, I think what we're seeing is, is that everybody is recognizing how vital it is that Europe and the United States and the North American space at large are standing closely together and that it's not just a function of who pays what and meets what payment target, vital as that is, but there is also what Germans call the Wertegemeinschaft, this, the community of values that bind us together and that those values are of crucial importance and the underpinnings of any policy decision made today, I think um, has become more obvious than ever in recent months. Mm -hmm. Well, and obviously the, the transatlantic relationship, transatlantic topics have long been important to Aspen Germany. Um, and you yourself have long been engaged with Aspen Germany. Uh, and I'm, I'm curious to hear what, a, what is your motivation to be so involved and engaged with the organization? Yeah, two, two things really. Uh, one is, of course, the, um, I started at, with the Aspen Institute as a young leader, as a young, uh, young reporter at the Wall Street Journal. I was based in Brussels, and I was invited to come to Berlin to speak, but it was a, a long, long time ago, and then joined again as a board member of Aspen Germany um, because the values of the Aspen Institute to me are truly unique. I do think that there are a number of worthy organizations in the trans transatlantic space. Some of them are more academic, some of them are more based on networking, but this one that revolves around values such as, of course, dialogue, such as um, there's a philosophical underpinning, there's openness, civility, all of the things that, that really set apart the Aspen Institute from other um, institutions in the, in the public policy space, but also in the transatlantic realm, I think make it unique and make all of us proud to be part of it. And number two, we talked a minute ago about the transatlantic relations, and I think that by providing a forum and a space for uh, people of all nations, colors, and political creeds to come together and talk and exchange ideas, um, the Aspen Institute and the Aspen Institute Germany specifically has helped to provide the foundation for what we now have, uh, a very much alive and functioning transatlantic relations and policy space. And I think, uh, yeah, I think that's, that's uh, a valuable service that the Aspen Institute Germany is providing in that it, that it really has, has allowed for the foundation for, as it turns out, urgently needed community across the Atlantic to flourish and function. Well, we certainly uh, look forward to your continued engagement and involvement with the organization, and thank you so much for being here and, and talking about this with us today. Thanks, <laughs>